Hi Narod, this is Sephiroth and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, some of you very often ask at me how I transform lines object in isometric projection uh, very fast, uh, it's just one click. And uh, in this video I will show you and explain how I do it. Uh, some years ago uh, I'm already record uh, some video about this, but this video very old and uh, not very clean for understanding and uh, because I decided uh, to record new video. Also I want to introduce you a new future that appeared on my channel and uh, this is a sponsorship future. Uh, you can join uh, to community of my channel and support me by press button under this video and uh, uh, this future give you uh, some icons uh, that uh, will place it uh, nearby your name in chats in online streams and uh, uh, your supporting uh, help me to create more interesting video and content for you. In the beginning of sponsorship I don't give any bonuses but in future I want to add some tutorials, uh, exclusive videos or something else like a, I, know, I don't know, like a discount or a gift for you um, and uh, want to say thank you all who supported my channel and uh, let's start our tutorial okay let's start our tutorial and I will show you how to create uh, isometric projection from any object how to create isometric grids, uh, how to create isometric action and how to use this action in one click. Uh, all these things I will show you in this video and teach you how to use it. Uh, first of all we need to create new document. And uh, we need to create new layer. All things that we will do, uh, we will do in uh, separate layers. Uh, because in, if uh, this will be on backgrounds, it not work. No, it's uh, uh, we can't uh, transform it. We can't do anything with the background, and uh, because we create a la new layer. Uh, this layer we need to create a new object. Uh, we will start from line. Uh, we have a separate object on separate layer. Uh, now, to create uh, from this object isometric uh, projection, uh, to transform it into isometric, we need to uh, edit, uh, go to uh, menu, edit, uh, free transformation, or uh, press Ctrl T. Uh, then uh, we can rotate it in any angle, and uh, we need to rotate it on uh, 35 degrees. And then uh, apply it. Uh, we have a line uh, that rotated on 35 degrees and now we need to transform it into isometric. Uh, to do it we press Ctrl T again and we can transform it by height. Uh, we need to transform it by 50% and uh, apply it. Now we have a isometric line. Uh, from this line we can do isometric grid. To do it, I press Alt button and then uh, copy this line by uh, moving it uh, to the left or to the right, any, any side. And then again I press Alt and transform it. Uh, how you see, uh, it will create it, it created a new layers, duplicate of layers. And I uh, copy it at, uh, five times. And I use markers to align uh, the lines uh, by uh, themselves. I press uh, this button and uh, this button. And it becomes very, very smooth. Now I press Ctrl E and I have uh, one layer with all these lines. Now uh, we need to uh, copy this layer again. Uh, now we have a duplicate of these uh, layers, merged layers, and uh, I need to transform it, uh, and uh, I go to Edit, Transform, and press Flip Horizontal. And I have uh, mirrored uh, these uh, layers that I created in, in the first part of video, 
and uh, we have two layers that mirrored by uh, itself and I can uh, use two layers and uh, with uh, top marker, uh, markers that uh, place it on the top of panel of Photoshop I can uh, light, uh, light it again by pressing these um, buttons. Now I have a geometric grid and I can again uh, mirror, uh, merge it this layer by pressing Ctrl E and I have a grid that I can use in my geometric drawings. Uh, usually I uh, take this grid and uh, uh, delete some lines uh, that will look not very good. And then I do it uh, more uh, opacity uh, and uh, draw it uh, on the top of this layer. Create new layer and draw on top of this layer. Uh, now I will show you how it works uh, with other object. If we take a uh, square and uh, press Ctrl T and transform it on 35 degrees and then press again Ctrl T and transform it by high on 50% it will become a isometric square. Also it works with a circle or any other object. Uh, now I will show you how to create isometric action that I use in my everyday work. Uh, to do it I need to uh, create new layer. Uh, then I need to open uh, action menu. Uh, it's, uh, you can find it, it in window menu and uh, you can press Alt F9 or just press on this action button. Uh, you will see a menu that looks like uh, this. Uh, I show it in uh, Photoshop CS6, um, but it works in other version too. Um, how you see, I have uh, these actions, but I will show you how I create these actions. Uh, first of all, you need to create new folder. Uh, you can create new folder and uh, name it, it uh, how you like. and. Uh, uh, press OK. Uh, then you need to create new uh, layer for action. Uh, uh, this is uh, icon. Press on it. Uh, and uh, first action we will call uh, horizontal uh, isometric. Uh, it will place in set uh, folder. Uh, I saw that I create uh, some minutes ago and then you can uh, you can choose uh, function k uh, it will be uh, usually it f2 f3 and 4 and uh, you can use any of these button to um, start this section usually i take f2 f3 and 4 it will um, by it will place it by left hand and it's uh, very easy to use okay i take f2 uh, it uh, takes shift because I have uh, this action, but uh, if you don't have any action with this k, uh, function k, uh, shift not no need to uh, on. And uh, when you do all these things, uh, you need to press record. Okay, I, I show you how I create this action, but first of all you need to create a line. Uh, you need to create new layer, uh, you need to create line, and then you need to uh, record this action. Uh, you need to press on created action and uh, press this button. Uh, now all action that you do, uh, this action will record. First action that we need to do is to press uh, this press uh, Ctrl T, transform it on 35 degrees, and press uh, apply. How you see, uh, this action uh, was recorded. Now, you need to press Ctrl T again and uh, transform it by 50 de degrees, 50 percent. And then apply, press apply again. How you see, it's recorded too. Now you need to stop it. You have uh, action, uh, by pressing Shift F2 you can uh, turn into isometric any object. I will show you on, um, on this square. 
Now I press Shift F2 and uh, it's become isometric. How I use it in my work? Um, to better using, I create uh, some new actions that will help me uh, with isometric lines. Uh, I have this layer with line uh, to make uh, isometric in other uh, side. Uh, I need to transform it uh, by pressing edit, transform and flip horizontal. Uh, for this function I create new uh, action. I press again a layer, a layer button in action menu, uh, give a new name um, and choose function K, F3 with shift and press record. Now I go to edit menu, I press transform, flip horizontal and I have a recorded new action and uh, press stop button. Now if I press uh, shift F2, uh, shift F2 uh, and on any object it will become uh, in isometric. I will show you on this strange figure, uh, shift F2 and it become isometric, shift F3 and it become mirrored. It uh, work very cool when you draw isometric grid. You draw a line, uh, press F2, um, you copied these lines, um, aligned by itself, Ctrl E, uh, you merged all layers, and then you press Shift F3 and you have a mirrored uh, layer. Uh, again, aligned it by itself, Ctrl E, and you have isometric grid. How you see it very, very fast, and uh, you can use it in your work. Uh, I have already this uh, action, I delete uh, that I created in this video. Uh, how you see, uh, I have uh, horizontal isometric, uh, mirrored uh, this isometric and vertical isometric. I will show you how work vertical isometric. To create uh, vertical isometric you need to uh, take any object, I take a square, and you need to transform it uh, by pressing Ctrl T, uh, but you need to transform uh, this side. How you see uh, in this uh, field, uh, you see uh, some degrees. Uh, to transform it, it into vertical isometric, you need to add to the field uh, 26 and 66 degrees, uh, and it becomes uh, in right angle uh, in vertical isometric and press apply and you have a vertical isometric. Uh, this function uh, work not very good because uh, if you see uh, you uh, when you transform a square into a vertical isometric it becomes not a square uh, but other figure. But uh, you can correct it uh, by hand, uh, press Ctrl T and uh, transform side and uh, uh, height of uh, your figure uh, that you need. Um, that's all. You can transform uh, any object in vertical and horizontal isometric, uh, create uh, isometric grids and uh, do it with uh, one button. I hope this video was interesting for you and give you some ideas, some information that will help you in your art and work. Uh, you can download uh, this action uh, if you don't want to create this uh, by yourself uh, by link under the video. Uh, it's free, you can just press the link and download it and use it in your everyday work and arts. Uh, thank you all who supported the channel. Uh, press uh, like button if you want to see more video like this and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This was Sephiroth. Uh, Bye, see you in next video.